Hello and welcome back to another Gamer Fuel about Asian snacks. And really I should just make the whole series about Asian snacks, especially this one Asian store that I keep going to and finding things. I think out of the four videos now, I think all but one have been from this place. So, today we've got four items and they range from rather safe to uh, kind of questionable. But we'll get to that. And the first one a nice and safe one is some mango and lychee tea, which I hold it this way, it fits in frame better. Um, this is from Ahmad Tea, which it's not just mad, it's Ahmad, and uh, it says it's from London, which means this isn't Asian at all. But the Asian store had like a wall of tea. He had boxes like this that were pre-made. Um, you had like different containers of different herbs and spices and fruits and flowers and things that you could mix together. So I was like, yeah, I really like lychee and I really like mango. So this is a good combination. Now I didn't make it ahead of time. They try to let it cool down. Yeah, cool done. Cool down. <laughs> so it's not the temperature of the surface of the sun. Um, I don't believe that quite worked. I even threw in some reusable ice cubes that are the plastic kind so it didn't water it down at all. Um, I see that they have completely melted at this point on the inside and it still feels like it's the surface of the sun. So other than that, um, the tea bag's still in it. Um, it just looks like regular tea. I don't want to drip this all over the place otherwise I'd hold it closer. But uh, I figured in order to try tea properly we needed to put on the tea trying hat like that. And now that we are proper, we can try out tea and try not to burn ourselves. Ah, just about drinkable temperature. Uh, not quite uh, burned face off, but hot enough where it's still considered warm. Uh, flavor wise, I taste the lychee, I taste the mango. That's pretty good. In fact, I'm gonna have some more. Oh, I took the hat off. I can't have some without the hat. Now then, now we can have some. Ah, yes, very nice, very nice. Anyway, going forward from there, my obsession with lychee didn't just stop at a drink. It continued on, and in the form of lychee gummy candies. And as you can see, well, maybe you could see, uh, as you can see now, they are individually wrapped. They are fruity and soft. Um, it is made by Frutia. Made with real fruit juice. Actually, maybe it's made by Kas Kasugai. Which, it says that up here. Kasugai. And down here it says Frutia. Um, on the back, they are not expired, which is good. Rich aroma and fruity sweetness. Very nice, very nice. Um, if you scan this thing, you can get this in, apparently, English, Korean, Chinese... And I would imagine on the second form of Chinese, that's what it looks like here. Uh, it's hard to tell. I started to learn Chinese and Japanese, but I didn't quite get that far. So let's open this up, and let's take out an individually wrapped, which it is now in Japanese. <laughs> that much I can tell. Which means that this one down here probably is the kanji version of... Japanese. Um, yeah, it even says made in Japan down here. Product of Japan in many different places. Okay, so Japanese, Chinese, Korean, or English. So let's open up this individually wrapped lychee and see. It's kind of like a clear gummy. Oh, it smells very floral. It smells more like, like a flower than it does a lychee. Uh, what is this made from? Glucose syrup. Nice. Sugar. Okay, another type of sugar. Sorbitol. Uh, I believe that's the sugar. Might be wrong there. Uh, concentrated apple juice. Alright. Um, gelatin, pectin, citric acid, natural and artificial flavors. And now we have reached concentrated lychee juice. Um, starch powder from potato, some emulsifiers, and wax. Okay. Well, let's see what this tastes like. Hmm. 
It tastes more like apple than lychee. It is higher up on the list. Not bad. It still tastes like lychee, but it tastes more like apple. But at the same time, they're really good. Um, I kind of wish they weren't all individually wrapped like this. Just because you, you're going to spend forever trying to get a handful of these things. Um, but yeah, if you find these and you like lychee... Oh, I, I just really... The Japanese is straight across the front. I missed that the first time, if you believe it. Um, yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah, if you find these, give them a shot. And uh, you won't be disappointed. Moving on, if you also will believe it or not, the next least scary thing is squid chips, which this was the only one I believe that didn't have the flavor written out in English. So this Asian market not only had a wall of tea, they had a wall of ramen, and they had a wall of chips. The ramen I got was just lobster flavor. I didn't think it was all that special to do in a video. I've already eaten it. It had two pieces of what I was assuming was lobster. It felt like it was an imitation crab, and it had the it had the taste of lobster. It was something very similar. Um, the broth on it was amazing. So if I get another one, maybe we'll do a ramen special. But anyway, they had hundreds, I would say. Well, not hundreds. Dozens, that's a better word, of chips to pick from. Most of them had the flavor written across the bottom. They had some interesting ones like Italian red meat or... Texas barbecue, something very specific. Um, but this one, as far as I can tell, it doesn't show in English anywhere. It just has a picture of a sliced up squid that looks like it was also a potato. So that's concerning. Uh, let's see if it says anything on the back. Yes, aha, sizzling artificial squid flavor. Yeah, as you can hopefully see, um, right about here, it says sizzling artificial squid flavor. Um, I'm not sure what a flavor is, with a nice capital S in front of the word flavor. This is official Lay's product made by PepsiCo of China. So, yeah, they probably should have proofread that a little bit more. Um, and down here in the ingredients, you got potato. You've got vegetable oil, and you have sizzling artificial squid seasoning. And it does explain what that is, luckily. Sugar, maltodextrin, salt, soy sauce, hydro... hydro some H-word, soy protein, disodium, sucus... Uh, there's a lot of big words here. MSG, garlic, cumin, onion, artificial flavor. <laughs> which the artificial flavor has its own parentheses around it, which is... Um, soy, wheat, cuttlefish, and milk. Nice. Alright, I'm going to stop reading that before I come across something that's even worse. And I did squid powder and aspartame. What the heck is this? They just threw everything in this bag. Oh, jeez. I didn't want to open. Oh, God. It doesn't smell like what you think it's going to smell like. It doesn't smell like sizzling squid. <coughs> oh, it smells like an armpit. Like genuine sweatiest armpit you've ever smelled in your life. That's what this smells like. Oh, I can deal with a lot of stuff. <laughs> and if this is bad, I'm afraid of the next one, to be honest with you. Oh, God. <laughs> Well, it doesn't know what it wants to taste like. Oh yeah, we need some tea. Forget the hat at this point. Ah, it tastes like cumin. That's it. It's all it tastes like. It, like when you, as you're chewing it, you're like, okay. There's some salt, a little bit of like maybe barbecue smokiness. 
And then just cumin, 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 just tons of cumin. It's like I just ate a taco. Oh, but the smell. I don't know if I'm going to finish this bag. Good God. It checks all these boxes, whatever they mean. Hopefully, somebody can tell me. What do those boxes check? Uh, does this one say armpit? Does this one say cumin? Does this one say a little bit of spice after the fact? Probably not. But, uh, good lord. Alright. With how bad that was, I am terrified in this next thing. This says... Bon Piace Dao Sao Reng. I believe this is written in Vietnamese. Um, you can take a look. But this is a, it's a vegetarian pia cake, mung beans, and durian. I have never had durian, but we're going to try it here. Um, it looks like it says you can either microwave it and get it warm, or you can freeze it. However, it's written in Vietnamese, so it's like that bao nyang lan. I'm not even gonna try. I'm gonna butcher that. But here's the pictures of what you can do with it. Apparently, I'm just gonna go at it room temperature because I don't know which one to pick. If I can at least get this open. All right, all right. Individually wrapped. Oh, the smell comes through the individually wrapped wrappers. It's not as bad as the uh, sizzling squids of flavor. But, uh, yeah, duck san sok trang. And probably should stop saying things in fake Vietnamese before somebody gets offended. But, yeah, that's what it says on there. I can't get this open either. Okay. Ah. Uh, the flavor comes through a bit. Oh, it had a <laughs> it had a freshening package in it. How good that did. It's a little strong. It's almost like it's in a flaky pastry. Uh, maybe that's what this pia uh, cake means. But uh, all right, let's see what durian tastes like. This is um, I couldn't find a real durian, at least not yet. So let's see what this tastes like. Mm. Ah, it's kind of... Oh, no. You can, you can smell the taste without even sniffing it. It doesn't smell as bad. Like, when you're chewing it, this, this, the scent flavor comes out. I think it's because it's like mung bean, if you can see, maybe I can show it to you better on here. If you can see the, the, the slight subtlety of like a gel where the more durian flavor is compared to like the mung bean side. The best way to describe what the, the flavor smell at the same time was like, you ever smell a trash can that has just been sitting with like milk and raw chicken? And then you just left it there outside for like five days, and then you open it up and take a nice deep breath. That's what this tastes like. Um, not the mung bean side. The mung bean side's all right. In fact, just to prove it to myself, you know, I hit another pot of durian when I did that. Oh, I should not have done that. Oh, ha. ah. Nah, nah. <laughs> These are either going in the... Well, maybe I'll try it with the two methods. It said freezing it or microwaving it. But, yeah. Normally, I'm pretty good with eating some weird stuff, but, like... This time, this stuff is beyond the usual. But, uh... Yeah. It's sticking with what was good. These lychee candies and the lychee mango drink. Not bad. Um, sizzling squids to flavor. Nah, not unless you like looking at armpit. 
And uh, durian this here, if you like the smell of rotting corpses in a trash can, you might like the flavor of this. Uh, so I'm probably going to go throw a lot of this in the trash now, and I'll see you in the next video.